At this time, I'd like to invite up Father Deacon Michael for the invocation. Thank you all for being here, as Tim said, and uh, let's join together for prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask now, as we have gathered together in your name, as brothers and sisters in Christ, we pray for your help, your guidance, and your direction as we go forward to be a witness for this great tragedy that our country is bearing. We pray for your mercy, for your love, and for your great generosity, so that we may love our enemies, so that we may love those who are misguided, who have taken this path that has led us to be here and to proclaim our outrage at this work of the enemy, who has beguiled us, who has fooled us into thinking that we know better than our Creator how to live our lives, how to make our decisions. We pray, Lord, for our repentance, because we ourselves are guilty. We ourselves have fallen short. We have not been a greater witness. We have not been active enough. We have not loved our neighbors enough. We have not loved the life and the gift of life that you have brought to us. We pray for a movement of the Holy Spirit to soften our hearts, to incline us to greater love, to incline us to a greater Christian witness. We may witness to our neighbors our love, our gratefulness. for the life we have been given, the opportunities of service and humility to inspire those around us. We pray, Lord, that you will let our light shine so that there may be a change in our country, so that there may be an overwhelming return to godliness, to holiness, to a love of that which is and good and pure and beautiful. For truly, Lord, your life is beautiful. Your life is sweet. Your life is love and goodness. We pray that you will guide us to walk more closely with you, more closely with your saints, more closely with your pure and almost pure mother. That she may guide us her purity, and her love of life, and her love of that which is innocent and in need of help. And we truly, truly are grateful for this opportunity to be with us this day, that our lives may be joined together, and that our young people here with us today may see this as an opportunity, a beginning to live a life dedicated to you, so that our lives will be dedicated to your service, not to ourselves, not to self-seeking, not to self-love, but to serve you with all holiness and righteousness and every ounce and fiber of our being, so that we may know you, the one God, the true God, who loves mankind and has given his life for us our lives in this good intention, in this campaign for life. In thy most holy name we pray, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.